Hello, hello. Good night. Good night. Good night. How are you guys? How's everything? Good night. How was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? ¿Todavía en la playita? ¿O ya regreso? <laughs> no? Yes, could it be? Did you go to the beach? No? Okay, guys. So thank you guys for being here. So I'm going to ask you to please um, keep your cameras on. I will really appreciate if you guys can keep your cameras on. That will be awesome if you guys can if you guys can do that. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. So, with that being said, let me share my screen here. Okay, guys. Now, I will tell you something. Well, before we start, ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? Anything you guys want to ask or anything you guys want to say? Uh -huh. ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Comentario? ¿Confesión? Ah, no, sí. <ríe> no? Ok. So, well, um, if you guys don't have any question or any confession or anything you want to do, I want to tell you something. Ok. Normally, I always start my classes with, with the phrase. And normally, you will give your opinion about that. Ok. So, now... Uh, this is the way I normally start my classes, but we didn't start it like that because it was like the first time of a few, a few of you like starting learning English and all that. But I consider that now we have a good level. I mean, not a, I mean, not like you have an advanced level, but you, some of you do. Uh, but we have what it takes in order to give an opinion about this, okay? Entonces, normalmente, yo siempre he comenzado mis clases como con una frase así... No para hacerlos reflexionar sobre la vida, decir, sí, Chiche, tienes razón. No, no era para eso, sino la idea es hablar un poquito, ¿ok? Practice our speaking a little bit. Así que si vamos a hacer, eh, vamos a comenzar ahorita, eh, siempre las clases con una frasecita por ahí en la que podemos dar una opinión. Two, three words that you share, it's okay. Dos, tres palabras que diga, está bien, en inglés. No hay... Um, Respuestas correctas o incorrectas. There is no like any right or wrong answer. Um, it's okay. It's what you think. Así que puede decirlo uh, lo que usted piense. Por eso su opinión. De repente si usted, para usted esta frase que dice well done is better than well said. Si para usted eso significa que tiene que ir y comprarse unas 20 pupusitas y comérselas, está bien. Dígamelo, pero dígamelo en inglés. Man. Ok, so that's the point. El punto aquí es que podemos hablar un poquito, like to share something in English. Ok, two, three words, good. Eh, la idea es que acabamos de ir desarrollando el speaking para que nos vayamos quitando el miedo. Y les digo, no tengan pena, equivoquémonos, digan cualquier cosa y de repente no sabe. Pregunte, hey, teacher, how do you say that in English? Okay, so that's what it is. Así que, chicos, esta es la frase de ahora. It says, uh, well done is better than well said. Like in Spanish, it will be como, es mejor hacerlo que decirlo. Right? It's better to uh, mm -hmm. So. What do you think? ¿Qué piensan? What do you think? Any opinion? Volunteers? Mm -hmm. Estoy de acuerdo. <laughs> in English, come on, in English. <laughs> How do you say that in English? ¿Cómo se dice eso en inglés? <laughs> uh, you can say, I agree. I agree. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Volunteers? Alguien?
Ajá. Vamos chicos, sin miedo, ustedes no son tímidos, ¿qué les pasa? Ahora vienen de tímidos. <ríe> ok, Jaime, Jaime Iván, tell us, what do you think? I think that that is very well. Yes, yeah, right. Thank you. You know, that's right. I mean, that's that's what I believe. I believe that it's better to do the things or it's better doing things than saying that you're going to do something. Instead, you just do it. You know, you don't say it, but you do it. So thank you. Thank you, Jaime. Thank you. Uh huh. Anyone else? Uh huh. Any other volunteer? Algún otro voluntario? Mm -hmm. Tres puntos extra en el examen, aquí me diga. Ah, mentiras, ni se lo. <laughs> Ahí sí, a todos levantando la mano. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. So, volunteers? Come on, come on. Turn the radio on. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Elijo yo los voluntarios entonces. Uh -huh. ¿Qué piensan? ¿Qué creen? La idea acá es que ustedes hablen, chicos. O sea, es pues para ustedes. Um, que vayan quitándose ya el miedo. Uh -huh. So, that you say something. One more. One more participation. Una participación más, por lo menos. One more. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. We had Jaime, he already talked. Anyone else? Uh huh. I think uh, we show all practice is this. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's thank you so much. Thank you so much, Alejandro. Yes, you know what you said is important. We we all should practice it, you know. Uh, you know, instead of uh, saying things. We will just do the things. Porque por ahí dicen, va, actions talk more than words. Las acciones hablan más que las palabras, right? That's what people say sometimes. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. So now I'm going to call the attendance. Uh, así que mañana prepárense. Mañana viene otra frasecita. Yo voy a poner una, una um, ¿cómo se llaman? El spin wheel, las, las rueditas esas. Que dan vuelta, ¿cómo se llama? Se me olvidó el nombre en español. Uh, los spin wheels. Um, I forgot how to say it in Spanish. Um, para elegir los nombres, ¿ok? La ruleta. Eso. Uh -huh. Y vamos a poner todos sus nombres, a ver quién sale seleccionado. A ver quién va a ser el ganador mañana. <laughs> ok, so. I'm going to call the attendance, guys. If you're here, you can say present, or I'm here, or I'm sleeping, or I'm on the beach, you know, anything you want to say, okay? So, uh, let's go with Abigail. Are you here? Yes, she is there. At Alejandro, yes, you're here, right? Okay, yeah, I see you there. Anderson, Jeremy? Teresa. Uh, thank you so much. Blanca, Stephanie. Present teacher. Thank you. Briseida, Lisbeth. Camila, Lisbeth. I'm here. Okay. Carlos, Aníbal. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecia, Emima. Okay. I see you, Cecia. Mm -hmm. Eh, Claudia Maricela. Oh, okay. What about Christian Daniel? I'm here. Thank you. Elsie Gabriela. Emilio Isaac. Estela Elizabeth.
Estela Marisol. Present. Ok, eh, Fernando José. No, ok. What about, give me a second. What about Floricia Mangibar? Ok, Glenda Guadalupe. Present. Hazel Marcela. Ingrid Esmeralda. Present. Thank you. Um, Iris Milena. Is not. Present. Oh, yeah, just. <laughs> All right. Jaime Alexander. Okay. Jaime Ivan. Present here. Thank you so much. Uh, we also have Juana, uh, Juana Isabel. Okay. What about um, Karina Jamilet? I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, what about Carla Joanna? I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Carla uh, Marcela. Okay. Kevin Joel. Uh, Crisia Dorilla. I'm here. And Lazaro. I'm here. Thank you. All right. Thank you guys for being here. You know, I appreciate your your being here today, guys. All right, pretty good. So uh that's that's what it is. Thank you again for helping me with uh the attendance. I really appreciate your guys taking your time to saying you're here, you know, and and for being here in the class. So I really appreciate that a lot. So with that being said, guys, now just remember that today. Uh, I mean, this week, we are going to be talking about what we called, uh, I mean, not what we call, but we are going to be talking about the, um, basically the section or the, se yeah, the section uh, five. That's what we're going to be doing right here. And uh, we'll keep on trying on this. Let's see. Since the video platform doesn't really want to load today. Anyways, you know, that's what it is. So, um, okay. All right. So that's pretty much what we're going to be talking about today, guys. Okay. Uh, we're actually talking about this right here. Uh, do you guys see, which is basically, give me a second. All right. Which is basically, you know, the section number a five, you know, that's basically what we're gonna be talking about. Just so you guys remember, um, para que ustedes puedan recordar, chicos, esta semana vamos a estar trabajando en la sección cinco y también ustedes van a hacer el final uh, exam, final exam. Uh, you have until Thursday midnight to do it, okay? That is the time that you have in order to Complete it, okay? So, just so you guys keep it in mind, para que lo mantengan en mente también, okay? So, let's see if this loads, because, and you know, it says that it's just taking a little bit. All right. Okay, anyways, we'll continue right here. So, you know, this is what we're starting today, guys. Uh, we're actually, um, I would say, like, uh, working right now with unit number five of this book, of the manual that we are actually using. And so here we have a, basically, you know, what we call the time zones. The time zones, uh, it's basically the time in the different areas, for example, the time that we have here in El Salvador is not the same time uh, of Los Angeles, for example, or it could be. 
Okay, uh, but most of the times is not the same time. It's not the same time as Lima. It's not the same time as Cape Town. It's not the same time as London. They have different time zones. Okay, hay diferentes. What? Tiempo de... Oh, la son... Yeah, tiempo de zona, right? I think that's what they call it. Um... Yeah, I think that's what they call in Spanish. So that's what it is, guys. Okay. So pretty much what you guys have to do is is that. I mean, we just have to remember here. Now, I got to tell you something. It seems to be that this uh, the platform is not really working. It's not loading. So we will try, actually, to go with the manual. You know, thanks God I had this load up. So... Uh, probably we will not have a problem about that and it will just take a little more time explaining different things uh, or practicing a little bit more since we are not probably going to watch the videos that are on the platform okay so just just so you guys know that okay now these are the time zones all right uh we have the time zone of vancouver you can repeat please uh, listen and repeat with your microphone off we got Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, we got Lima, we got Sao Paulo, we got Brasilia, we got San Juan, we got New York City, Montreal, London, Warsaw, Moscow, uh, Moscow, and we got Casablanca. We got it ripped, sold, Bangkok, and we got Cape Town. And let me just move it right here. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. And we also have the last parts right here. We have uh, Tokyo and Sydney. Now, as you can see, these are spread all over the world. And that is the reason why they don't have the same time zones right now that's pretty much what it is and here we have a short conversation you know uh give me a second here we have a short conversation about the time okay so this is what i want you to do guys Um, como les decía, el, el video ahorita no está cargando, entonces lo que vamos a hacer es, yo lo voy a leer. So ustedes traten de escuchar la pronunciation, ok? So try to listen. And then you can ask me if you have any question, ok? So it says, it says, hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney. Remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Okay, so that is basically the conversation that we have right here. So let me ask you something, guys. Um, is there any new word for you? ¿Alguna nueva palabra por ustedes? Is there any new word for you? Uh -huh. Yeah, no, no new words. Todas las conocemos ya. Yes. Awake. Awake. Despierto. Yes. Mm -hmm. Despierta. Como like, I'm awake now. Ya estoy despierta. <laughs> ya estoy despierta, Les. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Sydney. Sydney is the city. Mm -hmm. It's the city. Mm -hmm. Es como en Buscando Nemo. Fisherman, calle, 1, 4, 2, Sydney. 
<laughs> Did you watch it? No? No, you don't know. <laughs> okay, so, uh-huh. Any other question? You're good? No preguntas? Ya todas las palabras que están ahí se las pueden? Sí? Que bien. Ahí llega. Oh, oh, Abigail, tell me. Este, disculpe, este, no es eh, con respecto a las words. Sino que, eh, tengo problemas para entrar a la plataforma. Este, no puedo entrar, o sea... Sí, fíjense que es lo que yo les mencionaba, que no estaba cargando y por eso les estaba leyendo la, la conversación, porque si no está cargando, este, es que les voy a decir de <ríe> milagro de Dios, o sea, yo tengo esta página cargada, entonces si yo me muevo de aquí, ya no se va a cargar. Entonces, um, mm, déjeme ver. Let me check something. If I'm not mistaken, si no me equivoco, yo creo que tengo el manual descargado y se lo puedo subir ahorita. Sí, lo tengo. Así que se los paso aquí en el chat. Ok, uh, para que puedan tratar de descargarlo, at least, por lo menos. Eh, uh -huh. And see if that helps. Y ver si eso les ayuda. Ok, let me see. Sí, porque no está cargando. También en el grupo de WhatsApp está el manual. Sí, ¿verdad? Ok, bueno. Gracias, gracias ahí. Thank you, thank you. Igual, se los estoy tratando de enviar ahí. Por si, por si acá en el chat, en, 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 en uh, Zoom. So you can have it. Me dicen si. En teoría ya se envió. Pero igual, sí, ahí disculpen chicos, fíjense que la verdad no sé qué, qué estará pasando, pero ya, ya se reportó, este, sí, entonces, eh, bueno, pero ahí tenemos, yo digo que tenemos listo ahí para, let me just take a picture of that and I'll send it again, um, ya está como reportado, así que, let's wait that they fix it, ok, hopefully they fix it. Uh -huh. Igual, ya les dejé el manual por ahí, chicos. Sí, pueden abrirlo. Ok. Uh, give me just a, just a second. Okay, I was just reporting that, okay? Um, all right. So, anyways, let's continue right here. Okay, so uh, now we will do something, guys, and what we're going to do is this. We're going to practice our conversation right here, so I would like to ask you to read. Um, well, not just for me, but it's actually for you and to see uh, how are we doing with that, okay? So... Volunteers, you can raise your virtual hand and see if you guys can, uh, if you guys can read it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, volunteers, okay, I got Anibal, Crisia. Okay, so Anibal, you're going to be John and Crisia, you are going to be Debbie. So let's go, please. Hello. Hi, the very is if you I'm I'm Kelly from Australia. Australia. I'm, a, I'm at a conference in Sydney. Remember. All right. What time is it, is it here? It is in. Uh, it is in PM and it is four o'clock. They're in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four, um, oh, I am really sorry. That's okay, I'm awake now. Very good, thank you so much. 
Thank you guys for helping me with that conversation here. Now we will have right now another couple. We will have Christian and Iris. So Christian, you're going to be John and Iris, you are going to be uh, Debbie. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I call him from Australia. Australia? I'm at, at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time it is there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4, 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Thank you so much. Thank you, Iris. Now let's go with Elsie. You're going to be Debbie. And let's see, Anderson, Jeremy, you're going to be John. Yo, Elsie. Elsie, Elsie, hello, hello. Nos escucha, Elsie? Can you listen to us? Can you hear us? No? Okay. So, okay, Ingrid, help us, please. You're going to read Debbie, and Jeremy is going to be uh, John. Let's go. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I am calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney. Remember? Remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. At, it's 4 o'clock. They're in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 o'clock. Um, right, right? Sorry. That's okay. Um, I, I wait. Um, I wait now. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, now the next couple is going to be Jaime Ivan and Blanca Stephanie. Jaime, you're going to be John and Blanca, you're going to be Debbie. Debbie, so yo. Yes, you are Debbie. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia. I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it, it sir? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes. <clears throat> 4, 4 o'clock in the morning. Or am am oh i'm really sorry that's okay i am huh i what no awake mm -hmm. awake now thank you so much thank you blanca now the next couple is going to be carla you're going to be debbie and let's see let's see what about the boys let's see the rest of the boys here Okay, well, Fernando, there you are. Fernando, you're going to be John. Fernando Jose, you're going to be John. And uh, Carla, you're going to be Debbie. So let's go. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. Um, I call him from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right, what time is there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock. 
there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Uh, 4 a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. Thank you, okay. I wait now. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Okay, uh huh. Any other volunteers? Mm -hmm. More volunteers? No? No, you must. No? No one else? Okay. Hey, Fernando, did you bring the pupusas? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So that's pretty much what they are doing. Now, let me ask you something. Do you have any question about anything of this right here? Well, I think you said not before. But, guys, let's actually pay attention to the pronunciation of the few words. For example... We say, I'm calling. We say calling. We won't say like calling or not. We'll say calling, Co calling, like with O. It says, I'm calling from Australia. Australia. This is, I'm on a conference. Conference in Sydney. Así como nemo, right? Sydney. Okay. <laughs> in Sydney, okay? So, and then it says, remember. It says, oh, right. What time is it there? There. The pronunciation is there. And then it says, it's 10 p.m. And it's for o'clock. There in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. And it says, that's okay. I'm awake now. Awake, awake. Okay, so that's pretty much what it is. So, ¿de qué están hablando? What are they talking about? Mm -hmm. They are talking about what? They're actually talking about the work. Work, uh huh. What else? What else besides for the different time in the yes. place? You got it, you got it, Christian. Yeah, they, they're talking about the different times. Uh-huh. What are the two times that they mentioned there, or at least the cities? Mm -hmm. What cities do they mention there? Los, Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And Sydney. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Los Angeles and Sydney. Those are two different time zones, right? I mean, there's one time here and the other time here, and that's totally different, right? So that's what they're talking about, okay? That's pretty much what they're talking about. So um, with that being said, we will just go ahead right now and we will continue. And what we want to continue with, uh, oh, okay. All right. Um, what we're going to continue with right now is this about the, the times. Okay, now, this is very important, guys, and I need you to pay attention to this, okay? So it says, it's one o'clock. And the question is, what time is it? Hey, what time is it? What time is it? So, for example, right now, guys, what time is it right now? Uh-huh. It's a 34. It's a 34. Yes. Good job. Uh huh. That is the time right now. Ese es el tiempo ahorita, right? And that's what we're going to learn. We are going to learn how to say the time in different ways. Okay. So that's what we're going to talk about. So, uh, for example, guys, for example, right here, we got it's one o'clock. One o'clock means like it's exactly the exact time, right? There is no like one minute after one or two minutes. No, it's just o'clock. Is what we will say, right? We will say, uh, for example, it's one o'clock. 
Okay. It's one o'clock. En punto. Right? It's one o'clock. Una en punto. It's two o'clock. It's three o'clock. And we keep going, okay? So, o'clock means en punto, right? That's what it is. Ah, ya carga la plataforma, guys. You guys can go there. Mm -hmm. Por si necesitan ir. So, it's, it's already working. So, that's, that's actually what it is, okay? Y como les dije, esta es la section five. Y tenemos esta sección y el final written exam que ustedes van a hacer. Uh, tienen hasta Thursday, uh, midnight, to do it, okay? So, you guys can work it out, okay? Okay, continuing with this. Then we have, it's 105. It's 105. Okay, it's 105. Or you can say it's five after one. After means después, right? Podemos decir, serían cinco después de la una. Que sería la una y cinco, right? So it's five after one that's what we say and we also say this right here like or we can say it the other way o podemos decir en la forma normal it's 105 la una y cinco pero si usamos el zero aquí usamos el zero so we say it's it's like we say como que dijéramos la uno cero cinco right it's one o oh, so that's what we say it. That's basically how we say it. Then we have right here, it's 115. Okay, so number one, and then we got 15. Como ya sabemos los números hasta el mil, ¿verdad? hasta el 2000, hace cuánto los aprendimos. Entonces ahora ya podemos decir ahora, ¿verdad? Entonces, uno, sabemos cómo decir uno, sabemos cómo decir 15. Así que 115. Right? It's 115. O, otra forma, another way, it could be, it's a quarter after one. Es un cuarto después de la una. Right? It's a quarter after one. Okay, after means después, right? Or, in, for example, in this one, you can say it's it's 1.30, just exactly the time it is. Or this is another way. This is otra cosa que se puede hacer, chicos. Lo decimos la normal, como it's 1.40. Or we can say it's 20 to 2. Es falta la 20 a las 2. Dice, son las 20 a las 2. Right? 22. Ese 2 means a las 2. No a las de estas, sino a las. Okay. So it's 22 2, right? Or we have another way, for example, it's 155, or we can say, I'm sorry, 45, or we can say it's a quarter to 2, un cuarto a las dos, right? So questions about this? Do you have any question, guys? Uh -huh, Abigail, tell me. Um, para decir PM sería igual así, deletreado. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. It will be PM. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. okay. It will be PM, or if it is in la mañana, you can say AM as well. Mm -hmm. Y de hecho, que hay unas time expressions. Hay unas uh, expresiones de tiempo también que vamos a ver ahorita. Okay? So, uh, and actually, let me, let me just play the video right here. And so you guys pay attention to it, okay? Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to ask and... Can you hear that, guys? Yes? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Answer questions using time expressions. Let's get started by looking at some clocks which are expressed in the time. Let's listen and repeat. It's one o'clock. It's one oh five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. 
It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. Now, what we want to do is make our own examples by changing the time on those clocks. I'm going to change the time for each and express a different time. Let's do it. Instead of one o'clock, we will say two. Notice that the only thing that we will change is the number for now. It's two o'clock. For our uh, next example, it's 2.05. After that, it's 2.15. Then it's 2.30 or it's half past two. Next, it's 2.40 or it's 20 to three. Our last example, it's a quarter to three or it's 2.45. I would like for you to express the time now. I will give you the numbers and you should write the time. Now I would like to go over some time expressions. Let's listen and repeat. In the morning, a.m. Noon, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. At night, p.m., midnight, a.m. Let's uh, practice these time expressions now. Let's listen and repeat. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. In this class, we've covered how to express the time in different ways. It's important that you learn all those different ways to express the time. What I would like for you to do now is to practice expressing the time in different ways. I'll write the expressions and you should work on expressing the time in a different way. For example, it's nine o'clock in the evening. Another way to express this is by saying it's 9 p.m. Now I would like for you to change these expressions in a different way. It's eight o'clock in the morning. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 3 in the afternoon. It's 3 a.m. It's 6 p.m. It's 4 p.m. It's 12 p.m. Okay. So those are a few of the time expressions that we have, which is pretty much what I want to show you right here. We're going to work on this one, but first I want to explain this to you, okay? So now, these are the time expressions that I was uh, telling Abigail that we were going to see. And so if it is in the morning, we can say in the morning or, for example, si son las de la mañana, we can say it's seven in the morning. Or si es de la hueva, decir in the morning, solo dice a.m. <laughs> so you can say it's seven a.m., right? Or you can say it's seven in the morning. Mm -hmm. Nosotros decimos las 7 de la mañana, right? So it's the same thing. It's 7 um, in the morning, or you can say it's 7 a.m. Or you can say it's 7 in the evening, or it's 7 p.m. Okay, ahí depende de ustedes cómo quiere decirlo. Si solo quiere decirlo a.m. or p.m. O si ya quiere decir in the morning or in the evening. Y van a decir, teacher, pero what's the meaning o por qué, qué? What's what's the evening? Okay. Zan, uh, la evening vendría siendo como una tarde noche, porque de hecho es como de, bueno, no tanto, pero sí es como de las seis a las nueve. It's from six to nine. That is considered evening. Okay. Y de las nine por allá, las ten, it will be p.m. It will be night. A eso se considera la noche. Yeah. Okay. So, 
Uh, that's what they do it. Why? We don't know. They just want to do it that way. And that's the way they go. <laughs> okay. So, but yeah, uh, the evening, it's actually considered from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Okay. That's considered the evening. And for nine and ahead, that will be night. Okay. La noche. Right. So that's what it will be. So something else is that uh, you can say it's 12 p.m. or you can say it's noon, mediodía, right? It's noon, right? That's what you can say. Or you can even say something like it's four in the afternoon or you can say it's 4 p.m. Or you can also say something like it's 10 o'clock at night or you can say it's 10 p.m. Same thing. Or you can even say it's 12 at night, or you can say it's 12 a.m., or you can say it's midnight. Midnight is media noche, right? Midnight. That's what it is. All right. Um, so, questions about this, guys? Teacher, mm -hmm. sure. tell me, tell me. Uh, when we use a clock, it's like in punta, but when we, we, for example, um, when uh, we translate to Spanish, it's like it's not necessary to say in punto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's um just just we can say night or depend the the time. Lo voy a decir en español es que en el video aparecía como nueve en punto, pero traducido al español únicamente nueve. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Entonces no necesariamente. Si lo aplicamos en el español, sí sabemos que no afecta, pero en inglés. It does. In English, yes. In English, yes. So you gotta say it o'clock. Um, ni en español tampoco nos afectaría, ni en inglés, pero es como ser más formal, como decir las cosas bien, digamos. O sea, entre nosotros a veces ya nos acostumbramos a decir las nueve, y si nos dicen las nueve es como... Pero incluso a veces me dicen, cuando yo pregunto la hora, ¿qué hora son? Ah, las nueve. Punto. O oh, cabal, decimos nosotros. ¿no? Cabal. Ah, entonces, si siempre preguntamos, entonces, de hecho, que deberíamos decirlo, si es en punto, en punto, ¿no? para que no vuelvan a preguntar. ¿no? Ajá, pero sí. Pero sí entiendo su punto. I understand your point, but every time that you can, at least in English, say it o'clock. ¿Ok? O'clock. When it's o'clock. Cuando sea en punto, let's say it o'clock. Y sí le podrían entender, uh, pero dejaríamos su espacio a la duda, como estábamos hablando. Después le pueden preguntar, ¿las nueve en punto? It's nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. So, they can understand. But I will suggest you to use o'clock. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Or is that clear for them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other question, guys? Teacher, yo tengo una duda, verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, para decir las siete en punto, mm -hmm. eh, eh, por ejemplo, it's seven o'clock, pero se tiene que mencionar bien o, o si es en la mañana o en la noche, mm -hmm. siempre. Eh, pues, eh... O sea, no necesariamente, ¿no? porque, uh -huh. o sea, si usted le pregunta en la mañana, bien tempranito, ¿qué hora son? Y usted le dice, it's seven, ya van a saber ellos que es, es de la mañana. ¿no? Uh, no van a pensar uh -huh. ellos que le van a decir, le va a decir PM, right Pero, o sea, si es necesario decirlo, por ejemplo, si le preguntan, hey, ¿a qué hora nos reunimos mañana? What time, what time uh -huh. do we meet tomorrow? Oh, we meet at seven in the morning. 
or at 7 p.m. or at 7 a.m. Por ese caso, sí, ¿verdad? Pero, o sea, pero eh, también puede decirlo cuando le pregunten, what time is it? O se puede decir, it's 7 in the morning. Uh -huh. O sea, no es totalmente mm. necesario, pero incluso en español nosotros lo hacemos. ¿Qué hora son? Las 7 de la mañana. Uh -huh. Right? So we do it in Spanish. So, at the end is kind of optional, to be honest. Al final sí tiende a ser como opcional, pero es como lo que le decía Fernando. Eh, podría ser que dejemos espacio para duda y no vuelvan a preguntar de la mañana o, o, o qué sé yo, no sé. So, something like that. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. Any other question, guys? No? No more questions? Okay. Pretty good. So, si ustedes no tienen preguntas, yo sí tengo preguntas para ustedes. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, we were, we're going to do a little practice right here, okay? So, we're going to work with this. Now, the question that you normally ask is, what time is it, right? What time is it? And then we can say, it in different ways. In nosotros podemos decirlo en diferentes formas, right? Like you can say, you can use two, a quarter, after, you know, you can use all that. For example, here it's 20 after two. 20 después de las dos. Or you can say, otra forma de decirla puede ser, it's two, 20, right? So I'm going to ask right now, let's see, two, 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 two. It is what time is it in clock number two? Clock means reloj, right? In clock number two. What time is it? It's 50 past seven. 50 past seven. Si sí puede decir past. Mm -hmm. No, it's not what we have here. No estaba ahí, pero si sí puede decir past. You can say it's 50. Pass seven. Or you can say, ¿cuál sería? O si no quiere decir pass, pues la palabra que aprendimos ahora, after, right? Uh, after. So, eh, Aires dijo pass, y si se puede, es como decir pasadas o pasan, right? It's 50 past seven. Or it's 50 after seven. And that's Oops, that's what it is. Okay, so, uh huh. Good job. What's another way to say it? ¿Cuál sería otra forma de decirlo, guys? What's another way to say it? Pregúntele, Iris, a alguien más. Okay, eh, pregúntele esto, mire. What's um, another way? Oops, sorry. What's another way to say it? Mm -hmm. What's another way to say it, Blanca? Mm -hmm. la, la misma que dijo ella, la segunda forma. Yes, in clock number two. Uh -huh. Another way. Mm -hmm. Sería... It mm -hmm. son las seis cincuenta. Mm -hmm. How do you yeah. say that in English? It it fifty. Mm -hmm. It's six. 50. Y hay una forma más de decirlo. What's another way to say it, guys? Any volunteer? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's 10 to 8. Exactly. Yes. Yes, Ingrid. It's 10 to 8. 10 a las 8. Right? Good job. 
Now, Blanquita, ask a question. Uh, this question, what time is it to one of your classmates about clock number three? La, la tercera. Yes. Pregúntele a uno de sus compañeros. What time is it? What time is it, Fernando? Um, it, um, let me see. That is, let's see. 8.45. It's a forty-five. Mm -hmm. What's another way to say it? It's a quarter, quarter to ten. It's a quarter to ten. Mm -hmm. Another way to say it? Otra forma de decirla? It's another way to say it. Mm -hmm. It. Uh, Fifteen to, to no. ten. Yeah, I think you said that before. My oh. bad, my bad, yes. Uh -huh. So it's uh, 15 to, oh, it's a quarter. You're good, Fernando, you're good, yes. So it's a quarter to, uh, to what? Where is it? To nine, 15 to uh, nine, and the other one was 8.45. So good job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Pero si es correcto decir 15, uh, okay. aparte de... The quarter. <laughs> quarter. Yes. Sí. Yes. Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. Incluso hay otra forma más que podemos usar. There is another way. Uh -huh. No es tan común decirlo, pero podemos decirlo. Usando este, eh? using this, after. Who knows? Podríamos decir, it's 45 after 8. 45 después de las, um, what, 8. No es tan común, pero yo sí conozco personas que dicen la hora así. <laughs> I know a lot of people that say the time like that. Okay, so, all right, now Fernando, ask a question about clock number four to one of your classmates, please. Uh, what time is it, Jaime Ivan, in o'clock number four, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's I pass eleven. Right, it's five past eleven or five after eleven. Mm -hmm. What's another way to say it? Uh, 11 oh five. 11 oh five. yes you're right that's another way to say it mm -hmm. so thank you so much now Jaime ask a question about clock number five please ask the question up to one of your classmates uh, what time is it uh, clock five. Uh, Karina Yamile. Okay. It's four and thirty. Okay, it's four thirty. Mm -hmm. It's four thirty. Okay. Um. Now, Karina, ask this question to one of your classmates. This question. What's another way to say it? Can you ask this to one of your classmates, please? Karina? Puede preguntarle esa pregunta a alguien más, por favor? Hello, hello. Aníbal Martinez. Another way to say it. Okay. This one, this one, please. 
Esta, por favor. Repeat, please. No, todavía no lo he preguntado. Okay. <ríe> Karina, hola, hola. Hello, hello. Are you there? ¿No? Se nos fue Karina. Bueno, yo se lo pregunto a mí. What's another way to say it? Mm -hmm. What's another way to say it? The time on clock number five. Mm -hmm. Your microphone. Number five. Uh huh. Uh -uh. Mhm. Mm um, vamos por las seis. ¿Cuál sería otra forma de decir la hora en el número cinco, Aníbal? Number five. It is. It is three. P.M. Okay, uh -huh. say, say that again, please repeat. It is three, it is three p.m. 3 p.m. No, es solo p.m. Eh, son las... Well, well, what um... time is that? That's actually three... Uh, it's 2.15 actually. Las dos, 15. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Sí, no me estoy equivocando, ¿no? Sí, esa es. Sí. <laughs> ok. Son las 3 y 15. 3 y 15. Ajá. So, ¿Cuál sería una forma de decirlo? Mm -hmm. Ya le dije yo una. 3.15. Mm -hmm. What's another way to say it? It is uh, you can use this one quarter. It is quarter uh, two three. After three. In this case, it would be after. Because it passes a quarter after the last three, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to stop it right here. So any question about this right here, guys? Questions? No? Yes? Okay. Bueno, si no hay preguntas, chicos, los voy a ir ya. Eh, acuérdense de tratar de comenzar a trabajar en la plataforma. So you guys can work on that. And that's it. So si no tienen preguntas, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. And you guys take care, okay? All right. Thank you. See you later. Bye bye. Take care. You guys take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye.